Let's see, finally, uh, just an update on the uh, chips and China story that I, I am monitoring on a regular basis. Uh, the United States, as you know, has placed severe restrictions on the export of technology uh, to China, and not just the export of technology, but also the export of microprocessors themselves, uh, particularly the advanced uh, variants of the uh, advanced microprocessors. For a while now, it has been the case that uh, the, uh, the uh, ASML in, um, in the Netherlands has, uh, has, not, has never really uh, sent to China the extreme ultraviolet lithography machines that cost, I think, what do they cost, 10 million a piece or something like that? Anyway, those machines are not, have not been sent to China, and, and uh, ASML is committed not to sending them to China. But uh, again, over the weekend, uh, further development is that both Japan, which also produces equipment for the manufacture of semiconductors and ASML, have now agreed not to send to China uh, even the one generation less advanced equipment than extreme ultraviolet lithography, uh, so that uh, that will cause China to be even further backwards. Japan's Nikon, which competes with ASML uh, in, in supplying parts and technology processes um, uh, that are deep ultraviolet lithography, which is one step less sophisticated than the extreme ultraviolet lithology. Um, again, both Japan and uh, the Netherlands have agreed to deny China even that technology, which, which makes it very, very difficult, if not impossible, for the Chinese uh, to catch up in terms of chip manufacturing. Uh, the best the Chinese can do, and another story that broke this week, uh, last week, end of last week, uh, the best that the Chinese can do is basically steal uh, the chips themselves. They can't produce them, but they can steal the chips. Uh, indeed, the story that broke late last week is that uh, chips that have been, uh, that has been illegal to export to China for a couple of decades now, I think they were, they were first, uh, uh, they were first uh, made illegal in 1999 or something like that, um, have been, you know, it's come out that the Chinese are using those chips in uh, various military equipment. So uh, China is finding ways to get their hands on American chips. Uh, just like China and Iran, Iran drones, Iranian drones are using American chips. Uh, Russia and China are finding ways to get around by, by in the black market. There's a massive black market, it turns out, in advanced chips. It's still not the same. Smuggling chips in is just not going to be as um, effective, uh, it, certainly in terms of quantity. And then it's, you know, as long as China does not have the capacity to develop the most advanced chips in-house, and as long as it is difficult for them to access the most advanced chips on the world market, they can access them in the block ma black market, I guess, but not more than that. It does retard their progress. It does make their weapon systems uh, 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 at least at some level less effective than American weapon systems, potentially. And it certainly uh, makes it impossible for them to achieve, achieve what they sought to achieve, which, which is technological independence from the West by 2025. That's not happening. It's been extended to 2030, but that, I, I, I just, it's just not going to happen uh, that China is going to achieve technological parity with the U.S. or with the West by 2030 if these kind of... Um, if these kind of technologies are denied it, it just, I mean, once you understand, it's impossible for them to basically develop extreme ultraviolet lithology, uh, lithography. In, in 10 years, it might be impossible for them to develop it. In 20 years, in 20 years, it might be impossible for them to ever develop it, uh, given the, the, the expertise that has to go into it and the amount of um, subcontracting that has to go into it in, 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 in uh, ASML's case, the, the uh, company in Holland, uh, the expertise, they get to access companies all over the West uh, and, and companies that are world class at a little tiny little thing. That expertise is not available to the Chinese. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. 
show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.